Hi folks, welcome to IMTS 2018. Here are 10 of the most amazing machines, booths, and technologies we saw at the show. Stick around though, we definitely are saving the best for last. Number one, Haas debuted their new UMC 1000. This is the step up from their UMC 750, the large five axis machine. What caught my eye were some major improvements to the actual machine itself. They've added an option for an HSK 63 spindle. They've improved the rotary axes with cycloidal gears. And most of all, automation. You can now pick up the eight pallet pool system, which is absolutely the way to go, whether it's daytime or lights out unattended production. Speaking of automation, Haas also re-released their EC400, the horizontal machining centers. Horizontal machining centers are really awesome machines. They're intrinsically more rigid because you don't have that extra overhang from a C-frame like most vertical machining centers have. And not only are they more rigid, you've got the benefit of better chip evacuation and the tombstone design lends itself to four axis work. So again, higher productivity, getting parts done in fewer operations, and again, coming with the automation pallet pool. We love this setup because we're familiar with the control. We've got a good relationship with our HFO. We've had really good service, really good experience. So we're definitely thinking about the UMC as a five axis machine for our shop. Number two, DMG Mori and specifically the DMU50. This is an amazing five axis machine. And the part that caught my eye is this pop bottle mold. Look at the finishes on this. Absolutely insane. That is off the machine. You get these finishes using MCD or monocrystalline diamond tooling for those absolute superb finishes. But it just goes to show the quality of these machines and the capabilities of them. Also, a machine that's available with turnkey automation, the DMG PH150. It's actually an Aroa system that they provide turnkey. Very nice machine and a very nice booth. The other amazing machine at the DMG Mori booth was the DMU 340 Gantry. This IMTS was its US debut. This is actually the same machine I got to see in Germany last year at Emo. It is so big that here is a picture of me and Amish Solanke, AKA SS Cat Cam, standing inside of the machine. I sat there and watched this machine for so long that I got tired, so I laid down and took a nap. What's amazing is not only is this a huge five axis machine, but it's also incredibly rigid and incredibly precise, just mesmerizing. Number three, Okuma mill turn machine. What the heck is a mill turn? It's kind of like a mill and a lathe, but it's not just a regular lathe. It has a main spindle and it has a sub spindle and many have turrets, but they also have a B axis head so they can turn and they can mill. And this one is robot fed an amazing machine for production. And again, because you're able to hold that part from the left side, from the right side, and do both turning and machining operations, you can make really complex parts in one setup. That's more accurate, more productive, better parts, better quality, better finishes, just amazing. Okuma also had one of the most amazing bridge mills. If you saw the tour that we did of the Haas factory, these are the kind of machines that you need when you're building other machines, or in this case, making one of the biggest V12 engines I've ever seen in my life. You can set these whole blocks or even more than one engine block on a mill like this. It can change tools. It can even change the whole cutting head to have different angles or different capabilities. Just amazing. Number four, Tormox debut of their 1100 MX. For those that have followed our channel, it's no secret that we're big fans of Tormox. They're what the machine that let us get started in our garage, and that's what I love about this machine. You can throw it in your garage, it's at a relatively low price point, and the MX has significantly improved capabilities. It's now servo driven, and they've got a BT30 spindle. They machine this ball cap, which I think is awesome, both as a machine capability, but also as a work holding exercise. And the demo they had running was a three setup motorcycle triple tree which is a really really nice setup we've had one of these beta machines and we've been really impressed with it so i'm excited to see how this can help manufacturing entrepreneurs and folks that are trying to get started machining number five big kaiser fully closed loop digital boring head using a probe your cnc machine can measure a bore it can then automatically open and close that boring head with absolute amazing resolution and precision and accuracy and repeatability. It can then bore that hole. And if you need to, it can even remeasure to account for things like tool deflection or tool wear, further adjust the boring bar diameter as needed and re-machine or re-bore that hole. 
or you can use the same boring head to run different diameter bores. That's a huge time saver because these are expensive tools and they're very difficult to set up. This is finally one of the first smart things that we're seeing that's closing the loop on actual metrology and measuring and connected tools. Number six, Grob. Incredible five axis machining centers very unique design where your spindles mount on the left hand side the spindle can fully retract in which improves how you can handle tool changes the machine motion and movements are absolutely amazing and they have some really really cool demos you might own one of these machines to make aerospace parts or big auto parts but there's something really cool about seeing them machine a basketball net from solid aluminum Number seven is Matsura in the MAM 7235V. It's not actually a new machine, but this machine continues to amaze me. It's a relatively small footprint. It can hold up to 40 pallets and 512 tools. And that's an insane amount of tools. What that could let you do is either run high production or it can let you leave a bunch of different jobs set up so that you don't have to tear those jobs down. You don't have to do new setups and you can leave tool setup as well as backup and redundant tools. And if you're not able to step up to a MAM just yet, they've introduced their MX330 that has the PC10, the 10 pallet pool. It's kind of like the baby brother version of it. But again, some of the best high-end Japanese five axis machining centers. Card here to the behind the scenes tour that we got to film when they were setting up one of their new US showrooms with a whole line of their five axis and horizontal machines, as well as some of their new hybrid 3D printers that are also machining centers. Number eight, WFL, huge, I mean absolutely gargantuan mill turn machines. The part on this machine is probably eight feet long and weighs thousands of pounds. If you're doing giant aerospace work or landing gear or giant oil field work, this is the type of machine that you need. Take a look at the demo parts that they had in their booth, including multiple fan stages of a jet engine compressor, as well as a huge machined screw for probably an oil field pump or compressor. Number nine, Doosan Puma 1000, a giant lathe with a boring bar that absolutely wins the contest at IMTS for the longest boring bar. This is one of the Sandvik silent tools that uses some pretty cool technology to actually dampen out vibrations and chatter. Card here to the video that we did touring the Sandvik facility and taking a closer look at these. That's how you can take such a long boring bar relative to its diameter. Doosan also had a really impressive booth with some of their five axis machines, some incredibly fast gantry loaded lathes, and a dual spindle fourth axis machining center. So same footprint, double the output. Number 10, absolute hands down winner at IMTS 2018 was the Hermla Bull. This bull is absolutely spectacular. One of the coolest machine parts I have ever seen in my life and absolutely takes the cake for an amazing machine demo on an amazing machine tool. Hermley are some of the best, most high-end five axis machine centers in the world. They're made in Germany with absolute pride. They've got some spectacular videos about their factory and their operation, and their culture, but I gotta give them a shout out for putting this together and taking the time to machine such a big project at IMTS, just absolutely amazing. If you've never been to IMTS before, card here to when we attended two years ago in 2016. And stick around, folks. We've got a full-length video coming of everything we saw at IMTS 2018, from tooling and technology and machining centers and automation and things like this, a robot that can pick up a car. Hope you enjoyed, folks. Take care. See you soon.